Well, 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 what do we have here? No, this is not my normal Eurojank obscurity. This is a standard Royal Quiet Deluxe, a 1941 Quiet Deluxe. And this is what you would might see if you walked into a Royal dealership, someplace that was selling these, because this has all of the dealer accoutrements. You got your Royal Portable TV Guide. You got this instant touch system to teach you how to type on your a brand new Royal Portable. You got the tag that tells you how much you're gonna be paying for this Quiet Deluxe. And then you got it, little magic margin booklet, hooked to the magic margin switch up here, telling you all about the joys of the magic margin. Look at that. This is a 1941 Royal Quiet Deluxe. Let's get this tag out of here and we'll give this thing a type because while I do like my obscure European machines, I do have a spot in my heart for some really nice American made machines. And this is one of those machines. I mean, it's probably the best quiet deluxe I've used. It's, it's basically factory fresh. We'll throw you here in the tripod stand and then we'll take a little test on it, test drive. Get you in there. Get this finger chart out of the way. Here's your Royal Portable Guide. Look at it. It's got all the how to get started. Show you everything about your your Royal. How to install the ribbon in one minute or less. Quick change. And this machine, everything works fine on it. We'll do a little type test and then we'll look at the machine a little bit in depth. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Royals. Yeah, this one it has a tab system, so you got your tabs, and we'll just type on it. the way the machine works oh that was probably me just not typing correctly this is the way the thing feels this is the best this thing can get for now it's got a nice dark print so we'll pop this paper out Oops. and then we'll take a quick look at the machine here so you got the quiet d a space lux it's not the d lux it's a d space lux Flip this guy up in the back here and that can set your margins on your paper. Uh, yeah, we got here this beautiful beauty ring with the black trim in the middle. That reminds me a lot of the Halda. If you guys have seen my other Halda video, this is the color selector and to go to stencil mode, you push down and go over. Your touch control here, we'll flip this up because it tells you right there. Touch control, you got your minus for low pressure and then you can slide it up to your high pressure setting and it's still not that high you know the, the touch is nice but i like to keep it in lower settings and this is your ribbon reverse switch it has an automatic ribbon reverse system if you have eyelets and i don't have eyelets in my ribbons because i use bulk ribbons and i haven't tied anything in there so when i run low on the ribbon i just flip that switch and then now that side is going you flip this switch now that side is turning yeah, and this keyboard is complete. Not a scratch or ding on it. It's a very, very clean machine. Very cool, little quiet deluxe. Like I said, I'm not super into the American stuff, but when I do find the ones that are good, I like to pick them up and play with them for a little bit. This one might be going to a new home, which is fine. I'm trying to wrap the case down here, guys. Because this one has a cool case too. I'll set the case up here. This one has the, uh, it's not deluxe. I like to call it the deluxe case because it's this tweed with the leather, leather trim around it and it's all complete. 
A lot of times you see these with it's ripped off or you, you see them with the generic black case. So I kind of think this is a really good deluxe case. I like it a lot. And yeah, I like the black trim inside that chrome. So this was a quick look at a 1941 Royal Quiet Deluxe that I have in my collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and liked it. And, you know, we'll get another one up for you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.